you see this and this and also this one this was a photo sent by uh, a brother and for his protection uh, in Bangladesh these are some of the homes that was ransacked from the minority community this one is at a Christian home we've seen videos of vandals in the Hindu community I had a bad feeling that this was more than just a ordinary quota protest protest in that part of the world is always a little sloppy and now this is the mess that we're in I've also got information half of the Bangladesh army almost 50 to 55 percent are like jihadi members that are part of the Jamati Islami party member background now partnership with the Bangladesh National Party that represents the conservative side the Awa Malik party uh, which Sheikh Hasina is from they're more for the people mm -hmm. but because that part of the world mm -hmm. is a constant fight constant corruption when the BNP took over the Bangladesh National Party which is more of the conservative or right-wing side uh, they're more for two. That's what they got the identity to call it a, a Islamic state or a or their st their state religion as Islam, but not make into a Sharia. But this is the thing that I, I I was worried about, and I feel like you know when I read these comments and these different you know, just the, the arguments behind it, it's just almost like their emotion is all high. Oh, she did this. They sent the army. They killed this many people. She's corrupted. She's corrupted. She's corrupted. What is the root cause? Where are you guys getting your issues from? What is the thing that you hate about? As long as Islam is the root cause of all things, and I'm sorry to say that. People may not want to talk about it. You want a democratic nation, depending on what kind of democracy they want. I hear one argument saying, well, I think it will be great to have a Sharia law. But, you know, but we'll, we'll do it in our side and you handle yours. That's not the way it works. And I told the guy, so what happens to me, people like me? I left Islam. You know, can I openly just be critical about it? Not critical in a sense that saying racist rhetoric. But to have these discussion or have public discussion then I can say openly as to why I, I dis, why I don't believe in the Quran or in Islam based based on what the book teaches and not by my opinion. And just uh, just as when the, the country was getting better with their economy. And no, and if you guys saw the interview, you saw Sheikh Hasina's son. He's definitely right about it. It, it might end up like a Pakistan. If this is the kind of behavior that goes on. India has the right to be stressed out. You're already dealing with people with Pakistan. Could all this be a setup, you know? Could other government entities be involved with it, you know? I'm hearing different rumors about the ISI, along with CIAs or stuff like that. You know, like, I'm not going to say or act like even our government is perfect, you know? I, I don't like to how things are handled in different parts of the world. But yes, you know, I understand people have the right to freedom of expression, protest. If there are agitators, like I see the same patterns with, with, with protest in different parts of the world. People always have to put their agenda and blame it on someone else behind it. I don't know what her mind is like. I don't know much about the prime minister for... People like me that was born and raised in the States, but I've been more and more interested to know the history over there, you know. And the, But the thing that, that hurt me, that saddens me the most when I saw that they start bringing, tearing down the statue of Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. That is the current, well, now she's Austin, the former prime minister. That was her father that led the independence. And then and four years later, her half of her family gets assassinated. 
So, you know, from a psychological perspective and for, for a person that's a deep thinker, that trying to look at in all aspects of things, you, you really got to understand where she's coming from too to find these people that murdered her father and half of her family. And the only surviving member was only Sheikh Hasina and her sister. That's why I said it's a bigger picture to her. You know, these, these freaking leftists go with their emotions so much that you don't try to take the time, try to sit down. I'm asking the Bengali people and then you you people get mad at me. But wait a minute, you're the one arguing what you want democracy. So I'm coming to you in a democratic way, and I'm sorry if these questions may be uncomfortable, but I don't buy into something like, oh look, they killed the students. Well, what happened? Is anyone behind it? Is this more than just a quota? To the point you say you guys said, Oh, don't worry, I won't attack the the, the minorities. I don't believe you because I already know I, I grew up in a Bengali community. You don't think I freaking know how they think? Especially some of these Islamists. And, and at the same time, I do know there's some that cares about it. I went to the village where my dad grew up. I seen my 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 family's neighbor were Hindus, you know. They could get along well. But I guess it's a different tone when, when, it's, when, it, when, it, when, it, when it's, it is you that left the religion because your own family will view you differently compared to those that's not a Muslim. You know, that's why I tell the people in the West or anyone that's a non-Muslim, they might come to you friendly, but let's just say if you and me walk down the street, and yeah, they're all about peace, right? They're all about friends, right? And the moment I say I'm an ex-Muslim, oh yeah, they give you a different vibe. How dare you? You just left the ultimate true. I'm gonna treat you like crap. Now you gotta mess up my plan. I'm trying to get this guy converted. So this is a message to what, um, a brother in Christ wrote to me and I have to cover his profile so because of the state where things are headed right now for their protection and he said urgent prayer yesterday night a Christian family home was vandalized just now I got a phone call that tonight our church might be under attack inside church maybe under attack inside the church compound we have 20 plus youth in our church hostel and senior pastor with wife. No police to take care of, no police to take care of us. Prayer is appreciated. If you can, brothers and sisters, keep this, these family in prayer, keep all the minorities in prayer, you know? Yes, even we pray for those that, that may not know the truth, but we know that God will touch their heart. The world is seeing for who they are. These Islamists in, in the UK, we see the people are standing up and it's a shame that the, a lot of you left this government won't protect your people. You favor more of these immigrants. And the same thing that if we don't stop this here in our home state, I mean here in the US soil or pretty much in all of North America, Perhaps God is showing us more as we see everything is being opened more and more. Perhaps the the Antichrist is here. Well, the Bible just says, yes, we will see the main Antichrist, but there's already many Antichrists already here. But God sees all things. We stay faithful. You know, when things get difficult, you know, we, we come. We come to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords that God can still touch these people's heart. To do the right thing and change. And. It, it, it's just like a man. I don't know what to say. It's a big. It's a, it just it, it just flipped just like that. You know. And we'll see how. Things go in the country in Bangladesh. I don't know what to say. You know. I, right now my mind is just all like all over the place. But I, I just had a feeling this is where it would go down, you know. And when things were, th were getting better, I figured, man, maybe I'll just go down and visit Bangladesh next year. Haven't been there since 1995. Pay my respect at my father's grave. But I don't know how things will be. That's why I asked the Bangladeshi people, any Islamists, do you do this for the people or are you trying to make Islam your identity? So what's the point of calling it Bangladesh if you say you're for the people of Bengal? When are you going to wake up that Islam is a cancer? Islam is a cancer to all society. And now you're already seeing it slipping in the West. The very people you cry about coming to the West, now you want to bring that same garbage. 
Islam and democracy do not go hand in hand.